What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a brand new tweak called Multify. Now what Multify is going to do is give you multitasking in its truest form. So you're gonna be able to start up a maximum of five applications running simultaneously at the same time and still be able to interact with all of them at the same time. So you can see right here, my activator gesture is just tap and hold on the status bar and you'll notice that we get a button right up here. So if we tap on this, this is going to bring up our selection of applications. So right up here at the top, this is where we're going to set our favorites. So every favorite that you have, you'll be able to scroll through them right up here at the top. Then every other application is gonna be right down here and you can just page through those. So let's say we open up Tweetbot here. So we'll open that up and we can interact with that very easily. Now let's say we open up another one like Instagram. Then we can obviously interact with that. Now you're able to switch back and forth between these two just by tapping on the icon. So now let's open up YouTube and let's open up Reddit. So you can see that we can swipe between these just by tapping on them and it's gonna bring that application to the front. Now let's say that we wanted to you know, move this around. So first of all, we can tap on the plus button and then we can move all of these icons around and dock them to wherever we see fit. Now if we open this back up, let's say that we wanted to actually use these applications simultaneously on our springboard. Well, the way to do that is you go into edit mode. So we're gonna do a triple press of the home button. So one, two, three, now we're in edit mode. So that's going to allow us to resize all of these applications. So let's just say that we wanted to put it about right here. Now let's open up another app right here. We'll open up Instagram, go into edit mode, resize. We'll put that one right here. Another one, we'll go with YouTube, resize. And last but not least, we have Tweetbot. Let's try that again. All right, so we'll resize that and put it right up here. So now we're able to actually once we get out of edit mode, interact with all of these applications simultaneously. So you can see that we can swipe up right here, we can swipe up right here, we can interact with videos. Let's just say we were gonna play this one, we'll just tap on it and it's gonna load just like that. We can actually go back here on Reddit and we can go through other threads. I mean, this is exactly what you would want if you were a hardcore multitasker. Now you're actually able to rotate these as well. So if we go into edit mode one more time, you can see that we can actually rotate all the applications as well. Now, one thing that I think would be really cool is if you, when you rotated the app, it would actually change orientation. So for instance, uh, where this would be helpful would be in the YouTube app. So when I rotate this, this would actually rotate the application and then I would have a full screen video for that app rather than having to actually use YouTube like this and it's only playing in this small upper portion. That way I could rotate this if I could rotate it. And then we could actually just watch the entire video right here, put my other applications right down here. So I think that would be really nice. Now, one thing that you can do with this is you can actually rotate the entire device and that's going to uh, change the orientation of all the applications. So let's go ahead and do that just to give you guys a look of what this does. So like here for Reddit, you can see that it's changed orientation. Uh, this one started too and it kind of went back. So this is sometimes happening with the YouTube app. Uh, Tweetbot doesn't have a landscape orientation and neither does Instagram. So those two aren't actually changing, but still a pretty awesome tweak. Now you can see right here, if we go into our settings, let's go ahead and hide this. And the way to do that is you just use the activator gesture that you would use to bring it up. So mine's just a tap and hold of the status bar. So let's go into settings here and open up Multify. And then right up here at the top, we have a toggle for keyboard expand. Now what this does is give you the ability to type in applications at full screen, even when they're shrunk down. So for instance, if I go ahead and open this up and let's say that we wanted to type in, let's go somewhere easy. So we'll just type on the search and then we'll type right here. And then you can see it actually expands the entire application, allowing you to use the full keyboard. So we're just going to type in LOL, we're gonna type in search, and then you can see that it automatically pulls back down. We got a little picture of uh, Justin Bieber right here, so awesome. So now that I have Bieber on my phone, uh, a good thing to show you now is how to delete an application. So all you have to do is just swipe down, just like that, and it's going to get rid of that particular app. So let's go ahead and hide this again. And then coming right back down here, we have appearance. So you have color style, you have color, as well as blur style. So you can obviously change this up however you'd like. We'll just change this to, to clear. We'll change the color to, 
Let's just do red so you can see the difference. And then right here we have blur style. So what do we want? Let's do a white blur. So let's go back here and pull this back up. And you can see that when we hit the plus button right here, that we actually get a different background right there. So we have a white color. Now let's go ahead and get out of this and we'll hide this one more time. And then coming right down here is where you're gonna set up your favorite app. So all you have to do is just toggle that on. And like I said, that's gonna show up right up there at the top. So let's go ahead and toggle a few of these on just to show you guys. And we'll go back here and let's pull this back up. Open this up. And you can see all of my favorites right up here at the top. Again, we'll hide it. And then coming right down here, this is where you're gonna set up your activator method. So you guys probably know how to do that at this point, but you can see we have multiply activation method. So that's what it's going to use in order to either hide or bring up multiply. Right down here, we have edit activation. So what activation method do you wanna to use to go into edit mode? And then right down here, we have open app activation method. So if we tap on this, let's just say that we were going to set this up just for fun's sake. So let's go down here and let's set up Let's do a drag along the left to right at the bottom of the screen. And then we just swipe across the bottom of the screen left to right and you can see that it opens up that application within Multify. So that's basically it for Multify and if you're really into multitasking this is definitely a tweak that you want to check out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And of course if you guys want to see more videos on everything Jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.